Hello, it is a new week and it is a new month. Happy August. I am starting off this month with a new recipe. It's a recipe I've never made before, so I'm excited to share it. So I'm gonna, you know, uh, share the ingredients and the process of what I am making. So these are the ingredients. Any guesses? Any guesses before I, um, actually it's missing ingredient, which is very important. So hold on one second. <laughs> So here are the, all the ingredients. I have eggs, a ham steak, fat-free half and half, boneless, uh, boneless, frozen broccoli florets. So I'm just using the market basket. It's about one pound, 457 grams total actually. So a little bit over that. <laughs> An onion and a green bell pepper. Bonus equipment, it's this pie dish, nine and a half. So can any guesses before I say? Oh, and mushrooms too, hiding there. I'm using canned because, uh, <laughs> no reason. I, I guess I could have bought, you know, fresh mushrooms because you guys see we use fresh mushrooms. I just decided on can and frozen this time around to save some time. Any guesses before I say anything? So, I am making a crustless broccoli and vegetable <laughs> ham uh, uh, quiche. And I forgot to include the cheddar, but I'm adding cheddar to that too. So it's actually going to be three servings of, you know, this pie dish at only 470 calories because it's stacked full of veggies. I'm actually going to try to see if I can add some egg whites too. In case it's a little low, uh, I think I'm just going to add some egg whites as well. And like I said, I'm adding some cheese, but I'm excited to make this. I've never made a quiche before. I never made a crustless quiche before. So I'm hoping it comes out well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to microwave the broccoli, cut up the bell pepper and onion, and I'm going to heat that up. And then I'm just gonna chop the ham steak. I'm using half of the ham steak. Um, and I'm using six uh, eggs, half a cup of the fat-free, half and half, and I think I might add a cup or half a cup of egg whites that I have, and a cup of sharp shredded cheese. So I will post all the ingredients, and I'm going to do a taste test tomorrow. That's when I'm having it, so I'm trying to meal prep. I usually don't meal prep on the weekdays because it's Monday, but... <laughs> It is what it is. So I am meal prepping tonight. Um, I usually go to the gym, but I forgot my gym stuff today too. So I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. So yeah, <laughs> it's a bit uh, different than my normal routine, which is fine. So I'm going to microwave the broccoli florets. I can't talk today. Broccoli florets. <laughs> I'm gonna microwave that, cut up the green bell pepper and the onions and get everything uh, situated to start this quiche. Using my very small pan today, I have my roughly diced green bell peppers and onions. We'll see how it goes using the small pan because I, again, do not... The laziness is in full effect today, honestly. Um, I guess I could have... Ha I had a pan I could have used, but it is what it is, right? So I'm just going to use this small pan. I'm just getting the rest of the onions and bell peppers that are still stuck in the bowl. So I'm gonna season this with a little bit of onion powder. Why onion powder when you're using onions? Flavor, more flavor, right? <laughs> um, I'm also gonna use some garlic, granulated garlic. It's not garlic powder, granulated garlic. I need to get salt. So I'm also gonna put Himalayan pink salt. I just forgot to grab that. Well, actually, I'll use the shaker there. I have like a shaker up there. This is Italian seasoning, so I'm going to put a good amount of that too. And I'm using some black pepper, so I'm going to... <laughs> so I'm going to mix this all around, um, get this all brown and softened, and my broccoli is finished cooking as well. I'm going to cut that up into smaller pieces as well. So let's saute this mixture. Totally forgot I was filming. <laughs> so I added about um, 78 grams, which actually will be half a cup, but I did a little bit more. So 78 grams of egg whites. This is six eggs. I chopped up or I diced up the ham. I did half a cup of the sharp cheddar, and then I'm going to top it with the other half of the cup. Then I'm going to add the uh, mushrooms. And this is like a mixture. I tried to chop up the broccoli because I don't want big pieces. But this is the broccoli, onion, and uh, green bell pepper mix. 
So um, I'm gonna keep on cooling this, but I'm going to just focus on mixing everything. And then I'm just gonna incorporate this big bowl <laughs> into this one, hopefully it fits. And then hopefully everything fits in this pan. If not, then I'll do like a little mini one on another glass pan. But yeah, this is how it's coming together. All right, this is how it looks. Very heavy on the broccoli. Maybe next time I'll do um, half a pound, <laughs> but we'll see how this tastes. Um, so everything's mixed up, incorporated. I'm gonna pour it into the um, what is it? The pie dish. So let's see if I can do this one-handed. This is greased too. So let's get everything into the pie dish. Oh gosh. So it just fills it, which is great. I was worried it wasn't going to um, fit, but it's very, very broccoli-ish. So I think I overdid it on the broccoli. Next time, uh, definitely do not put this much broccoli. This is way too much, but nothing I can really do about that now. Next time I will do half a bag. I think one person, I, I was reading um, a recipe that asked for a pound of broccoli, but I think I overdid this I think it's way too much but we'll see so that's how it looks <laughs> again it's gonna be very uh broccoli dense I don't know how I feel about that but uh I don't mind broccoli but I didn't want it to be this much uh broccoli-ish but again we'll we'll see how it comes out so I'm gonna top it off with the main half uh, a cup of the sharp cheddar cheese just scoop out the rest of this and I'm gonna cook it for uh, 40 minutes at 350 degrees. I also forgot to mention that I did add a fourth of a cup of the fat and free, fat, fat free, can't talk today, fat free half and half uh, to the bowl. So yeah, 350 degrees, 40 to 45 minutes. I'll show you guys how it comes out, but I don't know how I feel about this. First time making it. When you're making something for the first time, these things happen. So I think I just added way too much broccoli, but that's okay future references I will not add a pound of broccoli because I think it's a little bit too much but we'll see how it tastes um I don't know how I feel about this anymore I, I really don't know I, I don't know how I feel about this quiche that I was looking forward to making but a lot of broccoli it's a lot of broccoli all right final product look at that that came out beautifully now there was a problem with it not being fully cooked in the middle so what I did was um, at the 30 minute mark I checked it it was still running in the middle everywhere else was fine I put it in for another 10 minutes it was still running in the middle so we're, you know we're getting at 40 minutes here uh, so what I did at the 40 minute mark was I covered it with aluminum foil so it doesn't get too dark uh, around the edges and I put it in the lowest rack and I increased the temperature to 375 degrees and I put it in for an additional five minutes and that did the trick. Uh, so all in all, it took about 45 to 50 minutes. I did let it rest too for an additional five to 10 minutes in the oven. So I would say next time you should put it at like 375 um, for probably like 50 minutes and um, or even 400. I, I read some that were 400. So either 375 or 400 depending on your oven. And um, yeah, cooking it, uh, checking checking it at the 45 minute mark too. And seeing if you need to cover it with aluminum foil so it doesn't get too crispy. But this looks really good. So it is, um, it is cooked in the middle. I made sure to check. I used a knife. So I have those like marks right there. That's where you can see the knife. Uh, and I tried to cover it too. But I'm really happy I put this um, cheese on top. I think that makes a big difference to make that nice crust. But I'm very excited to try this. I still think I added a lot of broccoli and we're gonna see that tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna let this cool completely and then I'll put it in the fridge and then um, I'm gonna do a taste test. But yeah, so it's gonna come out to actually three servings at 452 calories. Again, I will put, um, a little side review of the nutritional facts from my fitness pal I weighed everything except the eggs because I don't weigh eggs it's not a big difference um, so everything is pretty accurate 
Uh, so I always weigh everything just so I can be as accurate as possible. But yeah, that looks really good, you guys. I'm happy how it looks, but it's all about the taste, too. Because you guys know I, I've made some things that are a bit su uh, sus in, in the looks department, but taste uh, pretty good. So it may look good, but I'm all about the taste and flavor here. So we're going to do a taste test tomorrow. All right, you guys, it's the next day. I'm about to have the quiche, and I'm going to do a taste test, but I just wanted to show you guys how I usually weigh it out so I can make sure I am equal, eating equal proportions. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because I am going to have three servings within the week, so it shouldn't really matter, but I just want to show you uh, my process on doing it. I have shared this before, but uh, just to go over it again. So I weighed out the pie pan when it was... Um, without the quiche so just the regular pie plate or pan and it was 11 uh 35 so 1135 grams for the weight this is now the total weight so 2476 um including the quiche so if you just do two two thousand four hundred seventy six minus the pie plate 1135 that will give you the weight of just the quiche, which is about 1340-ish, something like that. And you divide it by three, and it's going to be a serving of about 446 grams um, per serving. So that is how I do the measurements. Now, my scale can fit this much. If not, though, sometimes you have to do estimates. Like, you just do a rough, you know, cutting up. So, some people are just, just do the rough measurements and just, you know, cut it up in three pieces. I like being a bit more precise. So, this is my method of doing it. But people have different methods. So, I just wanted to share that. And, yeah, let's do a taste test. All right. This is the final product. You can hear, see the steam. So I microwaved it pretty well. That's how the layer looks. Again, sorry for the bad lighting. I am um, not, not a videographer, so. But you can see it's a lot of broccoli. It's <laughs> it's a decent amount of broccoli. Again, I'll probably add less broccoli next time. Um, so yeah, that's how it looks. And let's do a taste test. I look a bit sweaty and I just got out of the shower and it's pretty hot, so apologies for this little bit of sweat but I uh, have my little bite I don't see any ham it looks like mushrooms and broccoli on this if it can focus not on me it's not gonna focus it's not focusing but let's try it. okay it's not bad I don't mind it it's pretty decent I would just say it needs a little bit more flavor. I don't know what I can do to have it a, a bit more flavorful. I'm just going to look at other spices I could add. Yeah, no, I like my food flavorful. It's not bad, though. I like it. I think I'm probably going to try to make this again next week because I have the ingredients still um, besides, like, the more veggies. But I don't know if I'm going to keep the broccoli or switch it over to zucchini. But I like it. I think it's pretty good. And it's a decent serving for only 452 calories. Lots of veggies. I have my protein. I think it's like 35 grams of protein. So it's a really good option. I like how it's not like high calorie compared to other quiches uh, because it's crustless. So I'm satisfied with it. And I'm just going to work on tweaking it because I made it for the first time. This is my first time making it. And it's pretty decent. So yeah, that is my crustless Broccoli, onion, green bell pepper, mushroom, sharp cheddar cheese, quiche. <laughs>